Hello, let's see how to create a pave in this ring and the idea is to execute the pave automatic tool and now the first thing is to select the object where we want to apply the pave in this case will be only this surface so we press enter and now we have several options to apply the pavé. Let's see how to use them and let's start to define the gem size for example 1.5 and the first example I will show you how to apply the gems dynamically so we just need to define the gem size and then with this icon add gem we just need to pick the points where we want to apply the gems other options we have we can activate for example the mirror vertical and the mirror horizontal and now when we use the add gem option it will create a mirror in both directions of course we can use only one for example this is with only the mirror vertical option and the same with the mirror horizontal option so this is one option to insert gems uh, now I can any moment delete the gems and let's see how to use other options to create the pave I have one option to start from borders so the idea is just select the option and with the preview icon it will start from the borders to create the pavé any moment we can pause and of course adjust the positions or change the sizes with the keyboard more or less any gem just select the gem and use the keys to change the size or drag them to change the position and the idea is preview to add more gems or in this case I'm going to pause refresh just to adjust the positions in this case I don't think the start from borders is the better option so I'm going to delete all the gems and remove this option let's see other options we have to create a pave I'm going to the second tab and in here we can define multiple sizes so one option is to define the a list of gem sizes and we just need to choose the sizes we want to to use for example this three okay and when I create a pave it will only use three gem sizes but in this case I can choose another option which is for example to define the maximum gem size and the minimum and the idea is to use 0 0.1 between sizes so let's see how it works we just need to click on the preview icon and we pick any point and it will start to create the pave but in this option I'm going to define in the command line go to center and the pave will start from the center of course 
the distance between gems and distance to border is defined in here but the gem size are this from 2 to 1.4 and he, he will try to add gems starting from the big bigger size and at this point it stops and we can add dynamically the gems for example in here and in here to do it we just need to define the size and then we just place the gems where we need in this case I'm applying 1.4 diameter gems and just to pick the point where we want them after this we can just refresh the positions and I think it's fine of course we have for example another option is to select several gems for example now I want to select for example this gem and I'm going to lock so when I refresh only the unlock gems will move all the locked gems will stay exactly where we want them um, another option we have in the third tab is to see the unions and the distances just to confirm the distances between gems and the last tab we can define the prongs to the pavé so the idea is to activate the option and to adjust the prongs parameters we need to select the prongs and now we can change the parameters for example diameter 0.6 and the same in the height and all the other parameters of course we can adjust the positions by dragging the prongs where we want we can of course add more prongs or adjust the position to add more prongs we just need after to make the pavé just select the prongs and edit them and it will open the prong editor tool just to add more prongs but in this case I think it's fine and we can use the checkbox to add the pavé to the document so this is the idea thanks for watching